Hello. Hello. I, I had a Yay. pretty, pretty bad week last week. I was oh. fat shamed. Oh. 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 I know. I mean, why bother? I know I'm fat. You don't need to tell me. You wouldn't go up to a drunk sitting on a park bench and say, with his like can of special brew or whatever, and say, wouldn't you be better with a avocado and ginger smoothie? <laughs> 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 but, but you led me to, to actually take steps and I've decided to join the slimming club. Oh, oh. God, they're grim places. <laughs> now, on one side, you've got the, the new members, the fatties. <laughs> they're all right. They're having a bit of a laugh. They're talking about where they're going to go to Fernando's afterwards. <laughs> on the other side of the room, you've got the target members. Now, they are a smug bunch of fuckers you ever did see. <laughs> they sit in there and they are right miserable. And if anybody, one of the newbies, accidentally tries to sit in the target member area, <sighs> get away, get away. <laughs> I'm clean, I'm clean. We don't want you being contaminated us with your fatness. You've got more chance of joining them if you've got leprosy or Ebola. <laughs> you should be slim. <laughs> always, in this, this group of the target members, there's always one lady there. Now she's now a size eight, but she's wearing a dress size 24. Uh -huh. Now, this, no. she may be wearing this dress because she likes to show off that, you know, she's lost so much weight. She may be wearing the dress because this is actually the very same dress that she was wearing the first night she joined. If you look closely, you can see where the seams, the stitching is sort of like strained. Um, and she knows that that dress weighs a certain weight, so she's not going to get a false reading on the scales. You know where I'm coming from. <laughs> the real reason she's actually wearing this dress is because she spent so much money going to the slimming club, not to mention the six grand she borrowed from Wonga.com to have a gastric band. <laughs> she can't afford a new dress. <laughs> but people, oh, then the, the, the leader, her name is Stacey. She's, she's very, very enthusiastic, but slightly annoying. And she goes around with the with the results, you know, with the, the, they've had the weigh-in and they're going to say who's done what and she comes up and she says, oh, Karen, Karen, you've had a good week. You've lost half a pound. Well done, love, well done. And we all cheer and we clap. Another 200 pounds to go and she'll be at Target. <laughs> then, then we've got Doreen. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Doreen's had a bad week. A cat died, which resulted in Doreen putting on four pounds. <laughs> Did she eat the cat? <laughs> We've got Slimmer of the Week. Uh -huh. Slimmer of the Week is Wendy. Wendy has lost 11 pounds in a week. Ooh. 11 pounds in a week. <laughs> and she's been on holiday. <laughs> she's been on holiday and she's lost 11 pounds uh -huh. making her Slimmer of the Week. Yeah. She did spend the whole week on the toilet with sickness and diarrhea. <laughs> uh, she's lost 11 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's got an excuse for being fat, haven't they? You know, uh, <laughs> this is simple. You eat too much, you don't exercise. That's that's a simple. Now it's like, oh, I've got big bones. Yeah, of course you have, love. You need big bones to hold that blubber up. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I'm, I'm a little constipated. Yeah, you are full of shit. <laughs> or or I'm, I'm, I'm holding a bit of fluid. God help us when that goes. We're nah. in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then there's people that, oh, it's in my jeans. It's in my jeans. My mum and dad were fat. My dad was a milkman. Mm -hmm. It hasn't given me the urge to get up at six o'clock in the morning and deliver milk to around it now. But, but um, then, of course, you've got those usually skinny people, and they say things like, Oh, I've been so busy I forgot to eat. <laughs> me, Oh, I've been so busy I forgot I ate. So I ate <laughs> but one of the best excuses of all, and now this is a genuine thing. Honestly, if you don't believe me, look it up. Sleep eating disorder. Has anybody heard of that? Mm. Apparently, these people, they wake up in the morning and they find out that they have had a massive feast in the middle of the night. They, they don't know how they've done it. They've come downstairs and they've usually eaten like a giant sized meat feast pizza. They've had a one of those huge big gattos from Costco's, you know, that's supposed to like serve 16 people, but really, <laughs> <it's so tight. laughs> and they've had a big tub of Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream. They've washed it down with two litres of fat coke. <laughs> they don't know anything about it until they get up in the morning. What a load of bollocks. <laughs> you never, they never get up and realise they've had a salad. <laughs> or 
two rye beaters and a tub of low-fat cottage cheese. It don't happen. I mean, seriously, if you don't want to be eating the food, don't have it in the house. If you've really got to have it in the house, go to bed wearing a muscle. <laughs> <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs>